Hello friends. Today we can see the new topic in applied thermodynamics, and that is the fuel injection system. The fuel injection system is one of the most important part in almost all the vehicles that are run on the fuel, as it consumes the fuel and vehicle get runs. The engine power. that is power output economy it generally depends directly on the effectiveness of the fuel injection system now a days the fuel prices are goes on high and almost all mostly two wheeler or four wheeler companies are emphasize and press on the consumption of fuel and for better efficiency and at the end the end user that is customer of the company must be satisfied through the fuel consumption of the engine in case of carburetion fuel is atomized by the process of drilling on the air speed greater than the fuel speed at the fuel nozzle whereas in fuel injection the fuel fill as the point of delivery is greater than the air speed to the atomize the fuel in the fuel injection system the amount of fuel delivered into the air stream is going to engine is controlled by the pump which is forces the fuel under the pressure there are some requirements of the fuel injection system that the fuel injection should be occur at the correct moment and it should be supply the fuel at the correct quantity at the required by varying the engine loads the injected fuel must be broken into the very fine droplets the spray pattern should be ensure the rapid mixing of fuel and air these all requirements and micro requirements are must be satisfied by the fuel injection system it should be supply the equal quantities of the metered fuel to all the cylinder in the multi cylinder engine and the beginning or ending of the injection should be sharp as and when the requirement it should be sharp that started and ending point must be perfect elements of the fuel injection system we can see the pumping elements the main function of the fuel injection system is to spray the fuel into the combustion chamber as and when required and the pumping system is to supply the fuel from the fuel tank to the cylinder this another one part which is important is metering elements metering means the another meaning of is to measure the fuel and to meter the fuel supply as per the load and the speed required for the fuel the distribution elements which are mounted in the fuel injection system are the one of the more important aspect into fuel injection system it divide the metered fuel equally among the cylinders the timing control elements such as to adjust and to start or stop the injection as and when required the mixing element for the particular purpose to atomize and to distribute the fuel within the contribution chamber so friends there are many types of fuel injection system basically air blast injection system in which in air blast injection system the fuel is forces into the cylinder by the means of compressed air and this method is capable of producing the better atomization and penetration of fuel resulting in the high break mean effective pressure this system is little used universally at the present because of requirement of multi stage compressor which increases the engine weight and reduces the break power there are solid injection system also developed in solid injection system the liquid fuel is injected directly into the combustion chamber and without the aid of compressed air hence it is termed as airless mechanical injection or solid injection every solid injection system must have the pressuring unit that is pump and the atomizing unit that is injector there are there are many many uh, majorly four injection systems and the it is depending upon the location of the pumps and injector and the manner of their operation that is where whether it is solid injection or it is further in combined of both the further classification of this system is 
common rail system, unit injection system, individual pump and nozzle system, and distributor system. You can see the fuel supply system on your screen and the fuel system for diesel engine particularly we can discuss in further point. That is we can uh, say about common rail system. The line diagram for the particular setup is in front of your screen. In this system the high pressure pump is supplied fuel to the fuel header and the high pressure in the header forces the fuel each of the nozzle located in the cylinder at the proper time. A mechanically operated by means of push rod or rocker arm wall is the fuel enters into the cylinder through the nozzle. At the same time, the unit injection system, the pump and nozzles are combined into the housing and each cylinder is provided with one of these injections. The fuel is brought up by the injector by the low pressure pump when at the proper time and the rocker arm is activates the plunger. Thus, the injector of the fuel into the cylinder. The quantity of the fuel injection is controlled by the effective stroke of the plunger. In front of your screen, you can see the individual pump nozzle system, that is separated pump and pump in casters. Individual pump and nozzle system. In this system, each cylinder is provided with one pump and one injector. The type of, di of the differs from the unit injector in that the pump and injector are separated from each other. That is, injector is located on the cylinder while as the pump is placed on the side of the engine. Each pump may be placed close to the cylinder or may be arranged into the cluster. The high pressure pump is plunges the actuated by cam and produces the fuel pressure necessary to open the injection valve at the correct time. The quantity of fuel injected against the control by the effective stroke of the plunger. Now, for the particular fuel injection system, there must be the sharp distribution system also must there. Now, in distribution system, the pump which is pressurized the fuel and meter the time it, the fuel pump, after the metering the requirement quantity of fuel supplied, it is rotating distributor at the correct time or the supply to the cylinder. Since there is one metering element in each pump, a uniform distribution is ensured. Now injection pump. The main objective of the fuel injection pump is to deliver accurately the method and quantity quality of fuel under the high pressure and the correct instant of the fuel injection fitted at the each cylinder. There are two types of pumps are generally wise, jerk type and distribution type. Fuel delivered by the pump increase with the speed while opposite true about the air intake. This results over the fueling at the high speed. At the low speed, the engine trains to stall due to insufficiency of fuel. The, to overcome this injection pump, the to govern the generally used two types of governor and that is mechanical governor and pneumatic governor for controlling the speed and for proper functioning the governors can be adopted in some kind of fuel injection system so that's all about the types and functions of fuel injection system adopted nowadays into the four wheelers and two wheelers recent days thanks thank you very much